I'm stressed. Dragged out, drugs out, drug. Although fourth wing almost pushed me to the edge. <laughs> doing this I'm only about six months too late I have like some weird hair going on so just ignore that I just got back from a walk and it was rainy so I admitted to DNFing fourth wing a couple months ago on here and then right after I made that final decision I was like it's just not for me I'm not gonna put the pressure on myself just because I'm seeing it on TikTok doesn't mean I need to love it I saw so many more of my favorite booktubers Sarah Caroli Natalie Lawyer talking about fourth wing and how much they enjoyed it and like their opinions on it Sarah actually said it wasn't her favorite, but she did really enjoy it still. And I, I just want to be a part of the conversation. So yes, I had made the decision to DNF it and I felt confident in that at the time, but I'm just having everlasting FOMO and I need to know. I need to know. I need to know. I'm nosy and I want to be part of the conversation and Iron Flame is coming out shortly and I have to know what is going on, what everyone's talking about. So we're doing it. I honestly think part of my dilemma the first time is I checked this out from the library and I was feeling pressured with the time crunch of getting it read and returned in time because there was like 400 and something people in line behind me for the hold and I felt really guilty taking longer than I needed to. It was a hard cover. It just, it wasn't the vibe. So I admit I splurged and I actually bought the paperback from the UK because it's absolutely gorgeous and I needed the extra motivation to pick it up and read it. So I have the most beautiful book I think that I own on my bookshelf here and we're gonna read it together. Since I'm so behind and I feel like everyone's already read this, I'm gonna go ahead and make this a spoiler reading vlog and I normally don't do spoiler reading vlogs because I know for me personally, if I see spoiler and I haven't read the book and I plan to whatsoever, even if I wanna just keep the possibility open, I won't watch it and it's just not as fun for me to have spoiler reading vlogs, but I feel like I wanna really talk about this and since I've heard so many people have already read it, I know so many people have already read it and I feel like I'm the last one in the world to read Fourth Wing, I'm gonna go ahead and make this a spoiler reading vlog so you're gonna really come with me through the nitty gritty as I work my way through fourth wing. So it's a Monday, new week, new me. We're gonna start this. I'm just wrapped up my work day and it's rainy outside so I'm ready to just get cozy, pick up the book and work my way through the first chapter, couple chapters, but I'm gonna get started. I will talk to you soon. There are so many words on these pages, like, Lord help me. Oh God, there's a map. Oh god, there's a bigger map. Oh no. Am I gonna be confused? I'm gonna be confused. Okay, update already. I'm on page five. There are so many words in here that I don't know what they mean. I don't even know how to pronounce them. And like, I'm already getting so confused with the world building. Like, this is really my first serious fantasy. I've read the Shatter Me series, but that's really it. And then like Harry Potter as a kid. But everyone says this is beginner world building. Like, am I supposed to be confused? One thing about me is I hate being confused in shows or movies or books. Like even if you're supposed to be confused, you know how some things will like want you to be confused. It can like reveal it later. I hate it. I hate feeling like I don't know what's going on. This is why I DNF'd it last time because I got overwhelmed and I felt like I was not understanding things I should be understanding. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going. Hopefully, hopefully it'll work its way out. I... I'm in the car on my way to do some returns. I have like TJ Maxx and Target returns and I have to drop off my voting ballots and all the things. So that really doesn't matter. I don't know why I'm telling you that. But I have been listening to Fourth Wing. I just got back from a walk with my dog and I've been listening to Fourth Wing. I just finished chapter eight and I will say I'm feeling overwhelmed by all the names and all the characters and all the things. It's like it really is a whole new world. Like the world building. I understand that term now. Like I'm so so brand new to fantasy I feel like I keep saying that but it really is a lot like the world building of everything and I am feeling a little overwhelmed with that and just like the amount of people is something that overwhelms me a lot in books like if there's a ton of characters thrown at you at once I tend to get overwhelmed just in general so that mixed with the fact that their names are just freaking bizarre and I don't know how to pronounce them um, mixed with the world building I'm just feeling a little overwhelmed but I will say I am getting into it I'm forming opinions about characters. I love Violet so much. I hate Jack. Uh, what's his last name? Jack d d d starts with a D. Jack something. I love, love, love Dane with my whole heart. I want Violet and Dane to just be endgame like forever. I love them so much. 
I low-key have a crush on Zayden, and I feel like I shouldn't, but I do. Um, he's like bad boy, and I like it. I don't know why. I feel like there's goodness in him. I feel like he has a really rough exterior, but I feel like there's a softness in him towards Violet in particular. I don't know. I am forming opinions. There's a professor that I really like that I don't remember their name, but they just had a conversation about um, Violet's siblings. So Brennan and Mira, I believe their names are. See, I'm really, I'm doing good. I'm doing good with the names. Um, they just had a conversation about her siblings and he was like, your brother was phenomenal. Your sister's phenomenal. Obviously not the words he used, but he like was talking about their strengths and he's like, but you're smarter and you have more compassion, I think he said, than both of them. And he's like, so don't forget that, like utilize that. And she's like, yeah, but that doesn't get me anywhere if dragons bond to people that are strong. And he's like, strength isn't just physical. And so I really like that. I like someone that's like hyping up Violet because she's just so down on herself about being fragile and being weak and all the things. And I love her and I feel like I am going to just continue loving her more. They haven't bonded to any dragons yet, so I'm super excited for that. There's, what's it called? Uh, the, like, ceremony? I don't know. I'm, like, picturing a ceremony where they bond to their dragons. There's a name for it. See what I mean? There's so many names of things that I'm just, like, whoop, in one ear, out the other. But the names are just not sticking. I know there's a name for it, but whatever. Long story short, I'm excited to see if she gets bonded to a dragon. I'm sure she will. I'm just looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to her and Zayden continuing to mingle. He just offered to like step on the mat to fight with her because her person wasn't able to fight, long story. Yeah, and Dane. I just, I will eat up every Dane scene. I have a crush on him. I love him. And yeah, I think that's where we're at. I'm just feeling overwhelmed with the names of the things and the people and the places, but I am starting to get into the story. I almost DNF'd it again for the third time, but I was like, absolutely not, Delaney, you're doing this. And I'm pushing through and I'm getting to a point where I am getting invested. And so I'm excited about that. I will follow up later. I'm going to keep listening maybe a little bit more today, maybe reading a little more today. I don't know. I kind of want to read my other book I'm in the middle of. I'm reading two books right now, which is steel trap up here two two plot lines two intense plot lines at once i'm reading killer instinct part of the natural series um i'm also vlogging that i'm doing like a week of reading books just on my physical tbr so if that video is up first go check that out because i'm reading killer instinct right now for that video as well um but i'm probably going to finish that tonight instead of fourth wing just because i want to get that book done you only have like 75 pages left or so but yeah, this really has nothing to do with my fourth wing vlog. I don't know why I'm telling you all of this, but I'm sitting in my car by myself just talking to you. So I'm going to go do my returns, drop off my ballot, and yeah, I will update you when I have updates, whenever that is. All right, y'all, we need to talk because this book is getting intense. I am on chapter 14. They walked through, they met the dragons. My heart absolutely melted when they saw the little gold dragon and it was like violet in dragon form, like just wimpy and petite. I, don't, I shouldn't say wimpy, not wimpy. Petite and small and like it looks like the weak link of the dragons, but like, you know, this dragon's just gonna be badass. And I feel like that is like violet in dragon form. Like it literally made me emotional as I was reading it. So that happened and then Jack Barlow and what are the other guys' names? Jack and or Orin and Tynan. Are those how you say the names? They are like wanting to kill this little gold dragon and I am not here for it. I'm pissed off and thank the heavens for Zayden. Zayden just showed up, but Violet knows like he can't interfere. Like it's against the rules for him to interfere. I'm stressed. We are like in this right now. These guys are trying to kill this gold dragon and being mean to Violet in the process. Like they're like, we can take out both the weakest links at the same time, like they're trying to kill Violet and the gold dragon at the same time. I'm stressed. But Zayden just showed up with Sigel and I like am crossing all my fingers. I hope that they put a stop to it. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm spot on with loving Zayden. You know how I said, like, I feel like I'm liking the bad boy and I shouldn't like him. Maybe I should like him. I feel like he has so much more underneath the bad boy. Like he, I think, is going to be kind of a big softie. And I think not necessarily soft. I think he has, I do think he's a bad boy. I think he has a lot of like anger and strength and force and power, but 
but I don't necessarily think he's evil. Like I think he can use all of those qualities for good. I feel like at his core, he's a really good human. And I feel like he has a protective spirit over Violet for whatever reason. I don't know why yet, but this is getting good. You guys, I cannot believe I DNF this book twice. Like I'm getting into it. There are some times where they're like breathing fire and I'm like, okay, like I've struggled to get into the fantasy mindset where I'm like into it, like in the world. It feels a little bit like out there sometimes, but I am really enjoying this book. It's keeping me entertained for sure. I'm reading it a lot quicker than I thought I would. I'm already on page 166 and like the pages are pretty, like they're pretty full pages. Their font's pretty small. The pages are big because I have the UK copy. Um, I'm into it. That's where we're at. I had to update because like I'm stressed over here. I'm sweating. These people are going after this golden dragon and this gold dragon has my heart and I just pray that it bonds with Violet. Like surely that's what they're setting it up for at threshing. Is it? Is that what it's called? Threshing where they bond with their dragons? Surely it's going to bond with Violet. Like it has to, right? I hope so. Anyways, Zayden's here. These guys are trying to kill Violet and the dragon. I got to go see what happens, but I need an update because like I'm into it and I was like, I need to talk about this with somebody before... I forget what's going on and I need to talk about it with people that will understand the stress and the pain of what I'm going through right now. So I will talk to you soon, but that's where I'm at and I'm loving this. I'm eating it up. Oh my goodness. I need to go read Fourth Wing, but while I'm here, I just got a package in the mail and I was like, what did I order from Amazon? Like I put myself on a book buying ban. Why is a book showing up on my doorstep? But this author, this is Jameson Hill's Something's Wrong with Micah and Mika, Micah. I'm so excited to read this and how sweet that he sent me a copy of this book. So I wanted to mention that here. Thank you, Jameson Hill. I so appreciate it. That was such a sweet surprise. Okay, but back to fourth wing now because we are in the heart of like some drama going on and I need to know what's going to happen. So I will update you later. Okay, you guys, we got to chat. I am absolutely shook. She bonded to both freaking dragons. I was so upset when she bonded to, how do you say it? I'm, pronounce, I'm pronouncing it Taryn, but I know like Taryn is like fully my non-fantasy vibe. Taryn, Taryn, either way. I was so upset when she bonded to Taryn to Rin, that's gonna bother me. But I was so upset and then it kept going and she bonded to both freaking dragons. My phone is um, listening to everything I'm saying and typing it, that's awkward. Okay, she bonded to both. What? Literally what? And the fact that Jack Barlow needs surgery, I was laughing because that's just freaking funny, he deserves it. And she slays, like she is killing it. The first writer to ever bond to two dragons and it's the one writer that everyone was like she's never gonna make it she's never gonna last here like yeah right look what she's doing that's so I'm into it I'm so into it and Violet is like badass okay also Dane is starting to irritate me when he's like you're gonna have to pick your dragon. You're gonna have to choose. You're gonna have to do this. You should pick Andarna because she's too weak to carry a rider so you'll just be kept as like a professor or whatever. Like he is squashing her. What the heck are you doing? Hype that girl up. I don't know. So Dane is kind of irritating me with that. Oh, and the fact that um, Ter Terin, whatever you say that dragon's name, I'm gonna say Terran because I need to just say something and stick with it. The fact that Terran and um, Sigel are like paired mates, bonded mates, fated mates. What is it called? Mated pair. The fact that Taryn and Sigel are a mated pair, that's interesting because like their lives are connected. So then Zayden and Violet obviously are going to be connected. I can imagine that's gonna be something. But also I got kind of sad when Zayden said something about like, Obviously I didn't pick this, like Violet would be the last person I would want to be paired with. And I was like, that was kind of mean. Like why, why do you have to be mean to her? I know he's like Mr. Tough Guy, but like that was rude. And also I just finished the chapter where 
Dane kisses her and she's like, what I wanted my whole life, I realize I no longer want. I Have we all had those moments? Because I think I've had that moment where it's like, you want something so bad and then you get it and you're like, no, thank you, never mind. I'm just like, I had to get caught up on all of that. Like she bonded to both dragons. Oh, and the fact that all the first years that didn't bond, all the cadets that didn't bond are going to try to kill her now. Like she's their number one target. That's stressful. I think there was like 41 or something. I think they said like 41 cadets weren't bonded. And so now Violet is their number one target because they want to kill her before her bond is super strong with her dragons so they can take her dragons. Like I'm getting really into this. As you can tell, I started off like really not super invested in this and I am getting into it. However, I cracked the spine and I'm so sad. I wonder if you can even see it. I'm like really upset about it. I was reading and I felt it and I was like, oh, pain, literal pain. It's just a book, it's just a book, it's just a book. I could literally cry over it, but I will not. Um, anyways, I have a session I need to get to. I need to get back to work because I have a work call I need to hop on, but I had to update while all of that was still fresh in my mind because this story is so fast paced and so action packed that if I waited to film an update there would be like 16 more things that I needed to talk about so I needed to talk about all that because it was already a lot that I was like what I need to talk to somebody about this so that is where I'm at I have to go back to work for a little bit and then hopefully read some more of this later today because I gotta keep going now now that she has her dragons I feel like now we're gonna get like really into it the training stuff got pretty old for me. I got bored really easily with like the training. It just felt like it got kind of repetitive and drag, drug out. Um, but now we're into it. And so I'm excited to keep going, excited to keep reading and I will update you as I go along, but I have to go to work. So I'm going to be late to my call. So bye. Here are the fourth wing update. And I don't even remember what I last talked about because I feel like I've been reading this book for like 475 days and I can't even remember where I was when I last talked about it. But right now I'm feeling like I'm in the middle portion where it just feels like it's going on forever and ever and ever and ever. Like I get the premise, I get the dragons, I get she's bonded to two dragons. Yes, that's amazing. I get that she's the weakest writer, weakest writer according to like her squad. Her and Zayden have this tension. I get Dane wants to be with her and like protect her, but he's kind of stifling her. Zayden and her dragons are like paired mates or faded mates or bonded mates or whatever it's called. I get it. How many chapters can we talk about it? That's currently how I'm feeling. I am over Jack Barlow and him like trying to come after her. Someone just got killed though for trying to attack her. Her name was Amber I think and she got killed for like setting up a attack on Violet. I just thought it was pretty cool. I've been like taking notes on my phone and I want to see what I'm missing talking about. Oh, I'm also feeling like there's so many different characters that I don't even know who they are. Like I recognize their names, but I don't even know who they are, where they came from. Do I like them? Do I not like them? I think I've decided that we do like Liam. He was throwing me off for a minute. I was like, who's Liam and where did he come from? And do I like him? But I think I, we do like him. He was like supposed to be looking over Violet. I think Zayden made him like look over Violet. Riddick? I don't know who that is. I hear his name like every couple paragraphs. I don't know where he came from. I tried to flip back through the book and find where he came from. No idea who he is. Orly, I feel like I haven't heard that name in a minute. I think that was the name. See, I don't even know who these people are. The names are the things and like, I don't know. The locations, the professors, the characters, the names, a signet, a parapet, all the things. I'm like, what? Um, also, it was pretty savage of her to use oranges to like get Dane out of the fight. Like, you know how they have like opponents or competitors or something and they like go and they go to the mats and they like basically try to kill each other. I don't understand what that is for either. I think it's like training, but you're killing off your own riders. I don't really totally know. But she used oranges to like poison him because he's allergic to oranges. So that was pretty funny. Also her and Zayden kissed. So that was cool. But now there's like this weird tension and I feel like it's being drag, drug out, dragged out, drugs out, drug, dragged out, drug out. There's this tension between her and Zayden now and I feel like it's just going on for way too long. I, yeah, right now I'm not loving my life. I'm not loving this book. I'm feeling like there's literally no way I've read for this long and this much of this book and I'm only like halfway through. Like how, 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 how? What do we have left? Like I... 
At this point, it's not looking good for me to pick up Iron Flame. I am not sure where we'll go from here. I know like the ending is supposed to be like the shocking ending. And I feel like that's been so blown up that I'm hesitant about this ending now. Cause you know, when something's like, the ending's gonna shock you. And then you get to the ending and you're like, that was it? Like, why were you freaking out? I don't know. Maybe it's been overhyped. Maybe it's gonna get better. Don't really know. I'm just over 300 pages in and feeling exhausted of it currently. That's really not a positive update, but that's where I'm at right now. And yeah, I'm gonna keep pushing through because I've read, like I said, over 300 pages of this book. I'm not giving up now, but that's where we're at. And I will update you. Hopefully it turns around soon and we get back into the swing of things being fast paced and me loving it. But right now, not the vibe. Hopefully that changes. Alright y'all, I did it. I finished Fourth Wing and I need to talk about it. I am afraid to speak my mind about Fourth Wing, I'm not even gonna lie. I feel like I'm going to make a lot of people upset with my opinion. I share a lot of my opinions on TikTok. If you don't follow me on TikTok, like that's where I post most of my book stuff. Um, but I get really nasty comments sometimes when I like books that other people don't or I don't like books that a lot of people do. Like. I'm just really, it makes me hesitant to be honest about my book opinions, but that's why I'm here, right? Like I need to talk about my book opinions. So I'm going to try to talk about this book in the best way possible. And when I reviewed this on Goodreads, I feel like I put it in the best words I could have, where this book felt never ending. It felt like I was never going to get through it. It was definitely not a book that I was like, I have to keep reading. I have to know what's going to happen. There was a little portion in the middle where it did feel like that. I think I updated and I was like, whoa, this is getting good. It was like before the 50% mark, I think. And then I just got really bored of it. But it's weird because even though it's not a book that I was like excited to read or excited to pick up, it's really not a book that I would say I disliked. I don't know if that makes sense. I definitely don't have the, oh my God, six star, fourth wing, woo! Like those feelings that I feel like a lot of people did. I definitely don't have those. I don't think I would say I dislike this book, but am I gonna read Iron Flame? I don't think so. Would I recommend this? I don't think so. And maybe it's fantasy? I don't know. I think the only thing I really cared about in this book was Violet and Zayden and their romance and then as I was reading all the other stuff I was like this is never ever ending and then I had a moment where like I should just be reading romance because all I care about is the romance subplot in this book. However I will say I was shook at the end. Um, major spoilers here we're gonna talk about the very end of the book so spoiler alert this whole vlog has been spoiler alert but we're gonna talk about the very end. Um, her ability she's a lightning wielder or something like that her signet power that's freaking cool and she's still a boss and a badass girl and I love her. Um, Zayden and Violet, yeah. Dane, I totally, that is just my taste in men. That sums it up right there because I was so team Dane. I loved him. I remember talking to you guys and I was like, I like Dane way more than Zayden, yada yada yada. And that checks out with how I typically choose my men where they are just not it and I fall for them and I'm like yep I really like you you're cute yes and then they end up being complete duds so what the heck Dane we hate Dane um he's a traitor and I wasn't that was kind of a bummer I wasn't really expecting that to be honest I thought I was kind of predicting what was going to happen at the end and I didn't especially the freaking Brennan part like he's alive I'm yeah I don't know I'm going to be really honest like with my review and saying I didn't love this book. I will be generous and say that I understood 75% of the book. Like there's a good chunk of this book where I was just reading with the vibes. I was just like F it. Like I guess it'll make sense at some point. Some things never fully made sense to me. There are some characters that I never fully was familiar with. There are some names of like locations or things in this world that couldn't tell you what they actually are. So that's on me for not fully understanding it and that definitely plays a role in like my enjoyment for sure. But as a whole, those are my thoughts on Fourth Wing. Am I going to pick up Iron Flame? As of now, no. Which I feel like if I were to pick it up, it would have to be like right after this one. Like I feel like 
I'm not going to decide down the line that I want to read Iron Flame. I've already heard a lot of mixed views on Iron Flame too. A lot of people said it's not as good as Fourth Wing, so that too is helping me be like, no, I think I'm good. So yeah, that kind of sums up my thoughts on Fourth Wing. I, um, if you see like the white spot in my hair right here, I put, like Trader Joe's has dry shampoo that's like natural and it's pretty much just baby powder, which I like because I don't like putting the other dry shampoo in my hair because it just like leaves a residue, long story. But the like baby powder one is really hard to rub in. So if you're seeing like white patches in my head, that's what it is. I'm not going gray yet. Although fourth wing almost pushed me to the edge. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But those are my thoughts on fourth wing. So I'm going to wrap up this fourth wing spoiler reading vlog here. Let me know your thoughts on fourth wing. If you thought it was worthy of all the hype it got, if you really loved it as much as everyone else did, um, or if you're kind of like me and you're like, that was kind of mid to be honest. So let me know your thoughts on fourth wing. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future reading vlogs, book videos, book recs, all the things. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye book besties.